Hi, everybody. Welcome to the weekly Infra Team meeting. We are today the 12th of March, 2024. Um, we have in attending that meeting, we have Mark Waite and myself. Uh, we may be joined by Hervé Lemaire a little later. Um, congrats for Kevin for his wedding, by the way, to yesterday. Uh, announcement, we got today the last weekly released 2.449, um, which is almost done, I think, uh, Mark. Um, we are just having a little uh, uh, ICAP because ICAP? ICAP because the, the FTP of Austria Cell in Chicago is um, doing a, a maintenance right now. So, um, as it's it's used sometimes as a main mirror, it can have a little uh, delay on the propagation on the mirror bits uh, nodes. But uh, we did check that uh, the last uh, weekly, the 2.449, is at least in two mirrors already. And we did check too that the, the Docker image is up and running. So I will be doing the updates for the, the weekly um, after that meeting. As for the announcement, I don't have any. Uh, let's check last meeting what we had. Uh, no, nothing, nothing much. The next weekly will be next week 2.450. 20 of, of um, no, next week will be the 19th of March. 24, yes. And the day after that, we got the LTS um, on, on Wednesday. Chris Turn is the release lead. Yes, thank you, Mark. Um, do we have any Jenkins? Well, so it needs and review and merge of the change log and uh, change log and upgrade guide. Oh, cool. Thank I you. haven't done that yet. That's a Kevin's Kevin's written it, but it hasn't been merged yet. Okay. You you talk about the next LTS? No. Yes. Yeah, I'll do oh. that review and merge. That's my job. Okay. So there is no security release. Last security release was last week and uh, and it happened quite well on plugins. Mm -hmm. uh, next major event, it's for you, Mark. You're going to travel a little to Los Angeles. Right. 17 and 19 of March with Alisa and Basil. Lucky you. And the CDCon is in April. Right. Oh, cool. And CDCon will actually have, we will announce the Jenkins Award winners. Oh, cool. Uh, CD, and we should remind people voting is open, uh, open until I believe it's 18 March, 2024, I maybe 20 been. March, uh, see the announcement. Good. Okay. Okay. So let's start what, uh, what have been done during that, uh, last week. Uh, we were a little short on on people, so not much have been done. Um, some cleanup uh, permission. Oh, Tim Jacom did handle that, so thank you, Tim. Uh, expiration. Oh yes, that one. It's for me. Uh, we had an expiration from from three or four different things. That one was the the digital ocean. A token. Um, I did took care of it, and um, I think I took care of it yesterday. Yes, um, and we uh, took advantage of that to use a new way of uh, logging in DigitalOcean and sharing the um, two FA uh, in a more secure way. So the the three of us in the um, infra team can now use the same access for the digital ocean and renew all the token. Damien is not the single point of failure anymore in there. You don't say spoff, you say the... Single point of failure, you did it right. Yeah, okay. I don't like to call Damien a point of failure, but that's no, okay. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, not, not the sure. critical path or the lone wolf. <laughs> so this one is for you. 
And I had a question from this one to you, Stefan, in terms of what is preferred. So what I did here is when I detect spam in Jenkins Jira, I will disable the user change their email address so that it's clearly identified that they're a spammer and change their password. It's a common pattern that what, so I don't actually delete the email at the, or delete the account because I wanted a record that they were a spammer. Is that okay? Or is it, and maybe we I, ask the question when everybody's back, but. Yeah, maybe, but for me, I feel that it's good because we, we, um, we keep the account. So if that account have been used to spam uh, anywhere, we can still have a link on who did what. Right. And maybe one day we would have a tool to remove automatically all those spam. Oh, so that's I good because do, I, do I use a consistent naming pattern when I when I yeah. change the email address. And therefore, it is an easy search. If we decide later we want to delete the account, we can do so. Great. So, so what I did is okay, at least for now. For me, it's okay. Let's check yeah. with the others. But for me, you did good. Great. Okay. I'll, and I'll keep doing that each time I detect a spammer and and disable their account. Okay. Oh, this one was on Sunday. I discovered that we missed the, the event in the calendar. Um, and uh, we the, the VPN URL uh, expired. So we, we didn't have any access to the VPN anymore. So I did renew it on Sunday. Um, it it's not an, uh, a hard task. It went through. The um, the only thing we ca which is bugging is when you wait too much and it's expired. You cannot go in, in infra.ci and, and trigger the builds to go faster. So you have to wait or to trigger them from the, the local computer. But I did it. I added it, uh, a few um, uh, team calendar events and added more calendar event so we got uh, one week two weeks three weeks and even a month before like that we we should not miss it anymore but even if we miss it it's still doable so on this one i was surprised i didn't have to change anything and i was nope. able to access the vpn this morning so this was no. just a server side thing that you did yes yes okay it's Very just good. renewing the the crl which is used to revoke people it's ah. it's the um, CRL is that. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Um, CD token are not renewed. What's that? Oh, yeah, same. We had a, a service principle expiration on Trusted. Um, Hervé did uh, manage this one on Saturday. We also missed the, um, the calendar event. We missed three calendar events on the same weekend. Mm -hmm. And that one is part of it. And um, I did manage orders. Let me check. Uh, I did manage to order a uh, um, service account, which I don't find here. I probably forgot to put them in the, in the, uh, oh, sorry. What's the name? In the week work the milestone mm -hmm. i would probably forget to put that in the milestone okay. but yes we had to work on on saturday sunday and yesterday to renew everything uh, this one is for you i think mark right and and we found a there was a, a plug-in that we use in jenkins jira that had its its license was marked as expired. As it turns out, there are actually two plugins whose licenses have expired. The Jira instance license had not expired, just the license for these plugins. Yeah. And all we had to do was ask Linux Foundation, please, could you renew the licenses? They clicked a button inside the Jira admin interface and it renewed the license. Awesome. So I started a discussion, shall we delete this thing? Shall we get rid of it? But the ultimate decision was, we don't have to. we don't have to worry about it. It's okay. it's easy. They did it for us, and it's done. Perfect. And I'm assuming it's free. Uh, yes, it is because because Atlassian donates the Jira data center license that we use, and suggest or the people who provide Suggestimate have agreed that it is also free to open source projects. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if this issue that I'm opening right now is not a duplicate of the other one. I. Don't I? So if if there was an earlier mention of Q test, then it is a duplicate yes. because yes, exactly. Tim fixed it in both cases. He just yes, he granted them exactly. the permissions they need. Uh, the first one, 
and and the second one. So uh, and you did probably took care of this one. Right, and that tokmatic thing is the same as the earlier. Right, it's okay. okay. Same pattern as um, the earlier one. Yeah. If you are not getting built by Jesse Glick. Oh, okay. that that failed in the in the very wrong moment, but did work. Okay, in fact, he, he created that uh, pull request at the exact moment where the where the the CI was down. Yeah, well, and and I'm I've seen cases where branch creation was ignored and i've not investigated further because yeah it as Jan, as as damien says if we really want to not have loss of webhooks we need something other than jenkins to queue the webhooks yeah it seems that they had a, a project at the, at one time Captain we, we did exactly we okay. we we've had a and it it's a, a service that you run multiple copies of it on kubernetes it listens and it it does all the good Kubernetes goodness, but cool. it's a lot of work to to create and maintain, yeah. et cetera. Okay, so maybe, but we don't have much time. Right. Okay, exclude GB space from ACP. Oh. So, yes. okay, so that, 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 uh, that was taken care of by directly, uh, not my fault. Which is uh, Alexander, I, and he did. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, it was good. Yeah, good. so it is good. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, archive. So that one was probably seven years ago. Yeah, that uh, that's been closed, cleaned up, and archived. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a, a little job that has been removed too. Okay, perfect. So some cleanup. The crawler failed. Oh, that was SS token expiration that we had to, to remove. And and Hervé took advantage of that to use his new SS expiration token, which are uh, short time living. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So those tokens are really short life and are working great. They are now almost everywhere. Great. And this one, oh, someone have been blocked. Yeah, I remember I, he kept that open um, as long as uh, as we don't have news. I know that we have two uh, answer for that to open two new uh, um, mirrors uh, in um, Romania. I'm sorry. In Romania, thank you, mm -hmm. and uh, that that's on uh, work in progress, and we should have two new uh, mirrors by Astico, and I forgot the other one, Ostico, Ostico, and yeah, and RDS was the yes. other one, if I remember right. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Close as no spam as not planned, not robo. Okay. It, it did close by himself. Great. Good. Okay. Evaluate claim owner of code owner. Yeah, that's a lot of work. So it's it's been cancelled, I'm assuming. Okay. So no. And the remove Jira component. Lib support lock for motor. <laughs> yes, so so Jesse and Basil yeah. disagree on on the plugin, and we choose to leave uh, both of them. Right. Okay, which is which fine. Is good. Yep. Yes, it's good. Thank you, guys. So, so we did uh, uh, already uh, talk about that. We have a new mirror coming in by Ostico. Mm -hmm. um, we have a. Uh, 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 
a question and ask from Basil to uh, stop, uh, to um, mirror the central two and avoid the knot. And uh, that, that can be done. We just have to spend some time on that. Mm -hmm. Up. Oh, we need to take care of this one too and check if it's a, a, a real account. Didn't have that time to, to check on that. Two weeks, sorry. Need to check on that. Plugin Earth Coring, configure new job on CI. Okay, so I need to ask Alexandre, um, not Alexandre, sorry, Adrien, uh, what we need to do exactly to be used by plugin. Oh yeah, that's he, he did develop a new uh, way of uh, um, archiving the data in a file, meaning mm. that during um, uh, any process and the restart and everything, he doesn't uh, oh, good. rebuild the whole file and the file is, is uh, uh, on report. Excellent. Okay, I'd been hoping yeah. for a static static file like that. That's great. Okay. That's good. exactly that. Adrian did took care of that. I need to make sure what he is expecting us to do exactly, but we'll see. Okay. No answer. No. Oh. So it was about to be closed and he reinsured. We'll do that tomorrow if not work now and get response. It's boarding. So we need to wait for, for news. Maybe we need to call for action again. Okay. Um and clear. Oh yes. This one is API rate limiting from update CLI. We need to spread the loads of, of those update CLI and to use more um uh, GitHub action or GitHub application to spread the load. But that's that's some work, and we didn't have time to do that. But we know how we can avoid that print limit. Uh, I don't know what's that mean. I'm sorry, ACP with error. Yeah, so we'll have to, it needs further investigation. That, yes. Okay. Yes, sorry. Up. The migration to the sponsored account. I think that Damien didn't have much time to work on that. No. Right. Um, but that's that's work in progress too. I think it's priority for him. Okay. Um, this one I can talk about because I did some of it. Okay. Um, two weeks ago, I did a, a digital assent. And uh, last week, uh, we did with uh, Damien the AWS EKS, CI KVTS, and EKS public. And they are both in Kubernetes 1.27. Um, I started to prepare for the Azure one, which need to be done by the end of the month. Um, and we'll, uh, I will have to prepare all the pull requests this time because it's kind of sensitive. But um, that sounds on the good way. Most of uh, four and six are done. Uh, we got private KATS and public KATS to do. Right. Work well. So good. Um, yes, we uh, also want to add a private uh, Kubernetes cluster on the sponsored Azure for us to be able to move load on the on that sponsored subscription. Uh, didn't add time to uh, to work on on that yet because the Kubernetes one point twenty seven and the IRM took most of my time. Mm -hmm. um, this one we thought that it was uh, uh, caused by digital ascent, if I if I remember correctly, and in fact no, because we thought that was caused by uh, the Kubernetes. Upgrade to one twenty seven on digital machine. and in fact, um, it it didn't change anything. So it's not due to digital ocean. 
it's um, between the ACP and, and the Maven way of working. Uh, Basil point, uh, uh, another issue that we will see after that we have seen earlier, uh, which is to um, cache uh, central that may uh, help to have a better um, performance, more consistent, or show that the ACP got a problem somewhere. We have to, to try. Uh, this one, I think that Ervi did not have much time to, to deal with it. Yes. Uh, it's um, versioning Jenkins IO docs. Nothing done. This one is on me. I did manage two more uh, pipelines that are using the last image. I'm dealing with the, um, the image uh, builder. Docker mm. builder, and um, I did uh, this one in Jenkins IO, and uh, and this one plugin site is almost done, waiting for a review to merge. Um, it's a little slower than the other one because most of those pipelines are, are used on on both sides by Infra CI and CI Jenkins IO, and the same pipeline is run on both controller. Infra having a little more uh, rights to to deploy images and stuff. So, so it's taking time because I need to make sure that both ends are still working. But um, yes, those uh, two are, are ready to work on the all-in-one as um, IRM64. And I had to choose the VM and not the Kubernetes pods because we need uh, more uh, memory and we had um, uh, memory issues on those pipeline. We thought about creating bigger pods and bigger node pool on the Kubernetes on ARM, but um, it's kind of expensive, and we uh, we will uh, uh, dump in the in the problem with the auto incrementation, uh, auto scaling, uh, starting from zero is not possible. So we need to start at one, meaning that we will spend much money for maybe nothing. So we choose not to uh, build that new node pool and to, uh, um, for now, use ARM64 VM as we got them. And, uh, and we got them on both sides, so it's, it's easier. So this one is just waiting for a review. And next steps, you see I got everything to, all that to, to deal with. Excellent. Yes, a lot of work, but that's good. Um, next. Hi, Harvey. So on that theme, before we leave ARM64 theme, I've added yep. a topic, no need to move your page, but I've added a topic to the announcements. An ARM64 server has been lent by Ampere to the Jenkins project. It is currently configured as an agent in my test environment. We'll need a lot more conversation about what to do with, how to do it, how to use it best, but it's allocated it's running it's building it's built many plugins it's built jenkins core uh arm 64 works great for us back to you thank Stefan. You. thanks um Hervé, you're right on time can you tell us a little more about this issue because i'm thinking you got news yes so um i've got uh, the last bit uh, working uh the next um, the um, the crawler is now working with uh, az copy instead of lobixer and the next final steps will be the replacement of lobixer in mirror scripts the scripts that are used on the pkg uh, virtual machine okay and i i didn't capture that in the notes there could you say it again so it's replaced already in which was it um every uh, since last week's uh, there is a crawler uh, which is uh, using uh, az copy right. and the week before i've replaced uh, blobix in jenkins.io plugin site uh, javadoc and i think that's all right and we got a really great improvement uh, for example, on Javadoc, it was spending between 40 and 
when I were on 10 or 20 minutes and it's now uh, spending uh, 11 to 13 minutes with AZ copy. Great. To go out the hell. So, so we've got improvement in time, in cost uh, by using premium storage. And yeah, in security because we don't use access key anymore. And yeah, long stored, that's... long lived uh, SS token. Yeah, that's really great. It's a win win win. Thank you. And oh. Yeah, going with that. Sorry. I think the next one can be the update center too. Um, um, yes, no, it's not yes, that one. That is update center is next. Um, I've also updated the pull request uh, where we put in place uh, synchronization to a file share uh, R two buckets uh, in addition to the existing uh, synchronization. The pull request has been merged this morning by Daniel Beck from Jenkins security team. <clears throat> and the job is running. Uh, we are spending a little bit more time, uh, around four minutes and 30 seconds. But Daniel conf uh, said that if we need to Increase the time of this job to five minutes. It's not a problem. I've looked into using a MD5 hash uh, to to see if it could improve the as it copy time, but it doesn't. So I think I'll improve the time to five minutes and go with that. I think the only so, way is to use parallel if you want to speed no, up. No, it. it's already. Using so parallel. already massively okay. parallel. So, so Erve, just to be sure I understood. So we're currently spending four minutes, 30 seconds to complete the copy. Yes. With the, uh, the free sync in parallel instead of two minutes and 30 seconds. Ah, okay. All right. Great. But two we minutes. have this, yeah, we have the sync in parallel and we have also a kubectl call. Yeah. And public KTS cluster, which is uh, triggering a mirror bit scan. So that's uh, 55 seconds uh, added to the time after the parallel sync. In fact, that's the creep we worked to all together. I'm sorry, I forgot this one. But yeah, so, be... so then, uh, just to be sure I understand, so with with what Daniel merged and the extra time, that was on a five minute cycle. We're no. getting very close to the five minute cycle. No. Do we need to take um, immediate action? <laughs> Tell me more about what's coming. Uh, I will uh, include, I've uh, put back the opt-in. We have uh, an opt-in environment variable uh, allowing to activate or not the parallel sync. And uh, it takes uh, for me uh, 30 seconds. And the cron is currently configured to run every three minutes. And I will uh, update it to run every five minutes. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, so so Daniel it's has okay. agreed. It's, yeah, it's okay for Daniel if this job is spending five minutes instead of three. Yeah, I the see. job has been merged, but but it's, it's still... Uh, uh on beta because we can switch on and off with a, a variable. Right. But so Daniel has agreed we can change the cron yes. cycle from three minutes to five minutes. Yes. And now, now we just have to be sure that the variability of the job execution never exceeds five minutes. Okay. I've run six job already and they all take the same time. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, it's currently running since I don't know ten minutes or so. I think the free last build I can check, but I think the build time will be the same. But you you did change the cron tab. No, but it doesn't matter because uh, the next build are in pending, so okay. it doesn't yeah it doesn't so, pile up. So we we don't get multiple builds running concurrently. No. Great. Okay. Yeah. 
um, three that's all. Take a bit. Yeah. Hey, so so last check on the on the the weekly build, our mirror list still shows only three mirrors, only two mirrors plus archives. So worldwide service of 2.449 for now will come from only the University of Aachen and um, FTP NYC. Uh, but we think that will resolve itself once FTP CHI is back and their plan to have that back is by end of day tomorrow. So we think we're no more than 48 hours running with only two mirrors serving a weekly weekly release. And this weekly release. Yes, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, exactly this week, weekly release because Stefan and I confirmed that preceding weekly releases are all being served by many, many of the uh, many of the mirrors. It's just for this weekly release and for a relatively few days that they'll be served by those two locations. And if we if we um, have a look on the on the tree age, uh, we got this one. To know if we if we can handle that, they'll fix mm -hmm. plugin. Yeah, and, and that one, that one we'll have to work with Delphix because I, I yeah they okay. We certainly want, uh, we we certainly must comply with license terms, and if they're bundling a proprietary dependency, that means we can't oh. distribute them. Okay, I understand. That's Daniel. Okay, and then we got this one. With EPV6. We will work on it soon, I think. We, we've uh, got I an think... expert on IPv6 with you, uh, are they now? No. Cool. <laughs> no. And this will be difficult, so I don't think we'll work on it last, next week. If I remember correctly, that's because of GFrog not handling EPv6. No, it's not that. Uh, it has nothing to do with GFrog here. Sorry. Okay, so we'll have to wait and wrong email registration. We got someone. Okay, we have to check if it's spam or not. Okay. So that's all. Nope, nothing new except that. So we're done. All what right. Do you think? I'll stop the recording.